Uh, our next presenters this evening, uh, a close personal friend of mine, uh, Mr. Kyle Schaefer, uh, and his partner, Kent Scoville. There we go. Let's give it up for uh, Kyle and Kent. They're with us here from Title Roots Stand Up Paddle Boards. Uh, Kyle Schaefer and Kent Scoville have combined their skill set and life experience to design and build wooden stand up paddle boards that the boys claim each have a soul and a unique personality. The boys. There they are, the boys. <laughs> Kent, Kent, Kent is a third generation woodworker whose creative spirit seeps into all aspects of his life. From oil painting to wood carving, Kent is at home expressing his art through a multitude of different mediums. Kent's creative juices are supported and nurtured through his deep connection to the outdoors, which is where he finds his deepest levels of peace. Kyle's motivations are a little bit different. No, I'm just kidding. I know Kyle real well. Uh, Kyle's motivation is to build and design or his motivation to build and design stems from his deep love of engaging in thoughtful processes that can be molded to create a desired outcome. Kyle dreams of adventures, and when time permits, pursues them with great vigor, to which I can attest. He's out of the office a lot. <laughs> Please follow Title Roots at titleroots.com and facebook.com backslash titleroots. And with uh, no further delay, let me introduce Kyle Schaefer and Kent Scoville from Title Roots, Title Roots Stand Up Paddle Boards. Ours might not go quite like the last one. <laughs> that was a little bit of a workout there. Um, great. It is. Game on. All right, guys. Yeah, Kyle Schaefer here with Tyler Roots. Yep. Um, very excited to be here tonight. Thank you all for coming. It's uh, definitely pretty cool to be here tonight. We don't always wear suits when we go out fly fishing on these, only on uh, special occasions. <laughs> yeah, for uh, sure. We're just going to talk about our creative process, kind of what inspires us to build these paddle boards. So, um, you know, like Travis introduced us, um, you know, a lot of our creativity really does stem from the outdoors. Um, finding peace on the water really opens up our mind for, uh, for inspiration to create the boards that we build. We, uh, I think we both share in the idea that we have this strong connection to the outdoors. And this connection serves to uh, kind of encourage our creativity. Uh, I think we both grew up with this mantra from our parents, kind of uh, the sun's out, kids out type of thing. So when the sun's out, we're outside. Yeah. And that has really followed through with us to this day where I think when things get kind of haywire, we can find some good solace outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So, you know, being true to our roots with uh, our connection to the outdoors, um, you know, we want to support that uh, through our process and through our um, how we build our stand-up paddle boards. Um, you know, we build everything locally right in southern Maine and Elliott. Um, we do everything we can to select materials that are um, as green as, uh, as possible. You know, a lot of the creative process starts with the mediums that we use. So we use uh, wood from, these are floorboards from a 250-year-old home on Brentwood, New Hampshire. They still had some burn marks from the fireplace, the floorboards that were next to the fireplace. We use wood cut from northern Maine by a guy named Bruce Tweedy. I love his name. Um, <laughs> we use all kinds of recycled materials from different cabinet shops, whether it be mahogany and stuff like that for nose and tail blocks. You know, and, and as we're uh, um, diving deep into this adventure, um, you know, we ask ourselves what craftsmanship is. And, you know, to us, it really is uh, um, it's believing in the... Uh, the product and the process that you're putting out. Um, it's uh, building something so the end user can also feel and believe just that deep connection that you have to every step of the way. Um, and we really feel that what, that's what puts a soul into our products. I feel like craftsmanship for us often takes its part in that we don't, we're not looking towards the clock to see how much time has passed, how much time you have left to build this thing. It's, you're taking this approach to what's the best way to fare this curve? What's the, I'm going to get these hand planes and these chisels sharp before I approach this. <laughs> kind of looking to have the best product at the end as opposed to trying to just crank this out as quick as possible. Yeah. Um, you know, and that, that goes right into uh, kind of the harmony and the, the synergy that Kent and I have as, uh, as partners in this business. You know, we're partners in business, but we're also partners in creativity. And we overlap in a lot of areas, and there's a lot of areas that we both stand alone with our skill sets. And um, when those come together kind of in a natural way, um, we find that we're putting out the, um, the most inspired work that we certainly can. I feel like we both lucked out having met and having, to, having shared the same kind of passion. Whenever we approach anything, we kind of have a good harmony there. Um, a quick story, when we first started 
started Title Roots years ago, we had spent maybe two or three days thinking of different names and different logos. And then I, he said Title, and I said Roots. And ever since then, it's been that kind of yin and yang. It's been that kind of perfect synergy as we move forward. For sure. You know, and there's definitely a lot, of, a lot of things that you can teach. You know, you can teach somebody to build a paddle board or, mm -hmm. or draw within the lines. But, um, you know, it's that, that passion that kind of lies within, uh, within each and every one of the creators in this, in this room um, that really helped to uh, um, bring out, you know, an inspired product. I can't, you know, I used to live with this guy who was a coach, and he used to say you can't teach hustle. And I kind of can't, you can't just teach this inspiration, this kind of creativity. You either got it for certain things or you don't, and we both share that for woodworking. Yeah. Um, it's pretty remarkable. Yeah, it definitely rolls into a saying that we love is uh, the whole is, is greater than the sum of the parts. Um, you know, I think we probably all can attest to that in, in some shape or form in our, in our lives. Um, and absolutely uh, helps us to build. When I was at UNH, there was a sign on the wall uh, at the wood shop, and it was your 10 best tools. And I think at Tidal Roots, oh, we have 13 best tools in our tool belt. We have these 10 fingers, these hands to create. And then we have a heart and soul. We put that into the work. And you have this kind of cognitive creative process as well. And I feel like when you have that as an algorithm, those 13 parts together, is that whole is so much greater than the sum of its parts. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and, and we ask ourselves, like, how do, how do you sustain, um, you know, motivation and, um, and to continue to build and to continue to try and grow our brand so we can do this, can keep doing this every day. Um, you know, it's really to, to find time on the water and to find, uh, to find your balance and to find your center um, and hit the reset button. And yeah, we know when we're out of balance and our girlfriends are up there and they'll tell you. We know when we're out of balance. And yeah. uh, it's kind of like a checkpoint where, like, you got to take a step back now because there is no creativity when you're out of balance and you're stressed and you're just work to the core. Yeah. So uh, it's always nice to be able to take that step back. Have those good morale raisers like that, that dog on that paddleboard is, is a big one for us. <laughs> um, you know, and uh, I mean, it, it, building stand-up paddleboards and uh, um, this pursuit for us is just, is just authentic for us. It's, uh, um, it's an outlet. You know, it's, um, it's been uh, something very cool that's just a way to express our love of woodworking, um, our love for the outdoors, our love for chasing fish. Um, so our tagline, one of our taglines is, you know, products with a soul. And to end with a, a quick story that we built a paddleboard for a woman in Portsmouth that her husband designed. It was a complete surprise. And we had in integrated floorboards from a house that they had lived in together, had wood burned in their wedding date, had inlaid in these Hindu hands. And we surprised them at a barbecue to drop it off, a backyard barbecue. We bring the board back, and she is just in tears. She's just blown away by it. And that was the kind of thing is when you wear so many different hats as a small business owner, it's kind of hard sometimes to make it all work. But those little bits and those pieces kind of give you the inspiration to go to the next project and the next project. It was a pretty impactful thing. Yeah, <clears throat> we definitely find that there is, a, I think, create, creativity as a homeostasis, and it probably is balanced to a certain degree, at least for us. You know, it's um, those, uh, those moments when you find yourself thinking clearly or... Uh, <laughs> are the most productive for us, for certain. So. so grateful to be here tonight. Thank you very much. Yeah.